And even though I, that's what first thing I was thinking about, the whip, you know, like, I, I have to thank you, right, with the enthusiasm. Because despite getting this award, and as many of you know, that yes, you might see the pictures and everything, but there's a lot of work behind the scenes that no one else sees. And when he, when you, when he said, like, rolling up 100,000 posters, literally, <laughs> over the last 20 years, that's a, a, the exact amount, right? The 40,000 were a little bit high, but <laughs> it was close to there, right? But one thing I'd like to say is that you can draw inspiration from many different people. And over the last 20 years, I've drawn like a lot of inspiration from average from people that are just surrounding me, whether it be Warren uh, having this event for 23 years, and looking back on it, there have been significant events when I was younger that there are people, there are elders in the community that really helped me, even though they didn't know me when I first came when I first came into the room, I came in contact with them. One of them was Bev Salmon herself. When I was uh, probably like in the second year doing this poster, I was invited to come talk to the city of Toronto to ask them if they can support me. I didn't know why I was there, <laughs> right? And uh, I was sitting at the table, and so I think Bev Salmon whispered to me or someone said, ask them to buy, buy, buy one to put in every office in the city of Toronto. I go, this is my kind of bold. <laughs> And I'm sitting, I'm li literally, I'm sitting across the table and Mrs. Savin's on the other side and I'm talking and I'm like looking at her in the face and just go, and she's kind of mouthing words to me. <laughs> and I'm just saying, yes, okay, yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, that's what I want to do. <laughs> you know, and then there was Mrs. Mrs. Jean Augustine and I, I, will tell the, I will tell the story till the day I die actually. Because my parents, you know, I'm, before I get emotional up here, but my parents would watch the TV every election and say, oh, did that Grenadian woman win? <laughs> and, I, and they would ask me like I was a reporter. <laughs> and I would say, yes, she won, right? And you know what? I'll tell you this, Mrs. Augustine. Both yourself and Alvin Curling, you know, when I looked at it in hindsight, you know, the way that my parents looked at you through that TV, like, there's a part of me that does this poster because I want my parents to think of myself like you, oh, right? Oh, oh, oh. And, with respect to, and with respect to that, you know, like yeah, I'm 48 now and I'm doing this poster for 20 years. But when I get when I am doing this poster and I go to schools and I give talks and I have like a 10 year old come up to me and ask me to sign the poster because their grandmother gets it every year and puts it up on their wall and tells them about it. And I sign it for them. I say, oh, here you go. And this one great 10-year-old comes and hugs my leg. Like, that, <laughs> that, that alone is an award in of itself that I get every Black History Month that I do this poster. And this award is specifically, I'll tell OG this a million times over, but the one lesson that I learned at a young age when I was 20 years old about strength, fortitude, as well as courage specifically, came from the man that gave me this award. Because when we were you know, young guns at university, OG was one of the about 11 men, 11 people that protested the, uh, the uh, exhibit at the wrong. I was too scared to go because my parents would kill me for that reason. <laughs> right? But he, but he went. And then I phoned a friend of mine, Russell, afterwards, and I said, yeah, Russell, what happened at the, the protests and everything? He said that everybody, that the police arrested several people, and they, they offered them a deal to get out, to, you know, get out of jail and everything. And he said the only person that didn't sign the deal was OG and mm. stayed in jail, mm. right? And so then I said, wow, yeah, I did. And the man that I met 20 years ago in university is the same man that's, that, is, that is still, I still see that guy right now when I see him. And for me, that was a lesson in courage, and that was a lesson in how to man up, right? Yeah. Under, it, under adversity. So with this, when I put it into my house, this will, along with Jackie Robinson, a lot of the stories of Beth Salmon and and uh, Alvin Curling and Gene Augustine, when I put this in my house, I'll remember the, the powerful stories that are in our community and feel even more energized to go on for another 25 years. Thank you very much.